if I'm rigging heavy, I am rigging so that I am literally leaning left and not even trying to lean left. That's rigging heavy. If it's rigging light, that means I'm sitting up tall and I'm having to be very careful not to hoolie because that ama is rigged so that the canoe is level when I'm sitting in calm water. So rigging light, another way to put it, means that I am going to barely put just this much of the Yaku into the Ama. That means rigging light. If I put this much of the Yaku into the Ama, that canoe is going to lean way left. That's rigging heavy. Now I know on some canoes you can adjust how far the Ama is away from, by how deep you rig the Yaku, right? You can you can Correct. actually move the Ama away, which would make it make it rig heavier, I guess. You're talking about distance from the canoe. Distance from the canoe, right? The canoe. Yeah, so the, the closer to the canoe, the tippier it's gonna be. Another way to put it, the closer to the canoe, the faster it's gonna be. And so you're rigging here. Now you're rigging heavy on the front here, right? Good question. I think this, because of the rocker in the AMA, I want the AMA on my front, I want it up. Personally, I do that because I don't want it biting into a wave when I'm in the ocean. Right. To me, the, the weight, heavy or light, has more to do with how I rig in the back. Okay. At least that's what I'm learning. So, if I were to stop here and tighten this down, that would be rigged extremely light. Um, I have found for me, with my body weight, if I rig it right there to where I put my tape, when I sit in the canoe in flat, calm water, and I'm just sitting up good balance, my canoe is level. The canoe and the ama are level. So if I were to put this yaku all the way down inside the ama, all the way up to this point, that would be rigging heavy. Yes, it would be more stable. I would be leaning to my left without even trying. And that might be good for a beginner paddler, but it might also be good in certain conditions in the ocean when it's really rough or I really don't want a hoolie because it's very cold. Like when we're doing a, a southbound run with it with this northeast wind that we get during the winter here, which tends to come in and lift the Yama mm -hmm. a little bit more, we might yeah. rig a little heavier. Possibly. Then. Okay. And I, I think in my mind, I'm determined to improve my balance. I'm determined <laughs> to try to get better, try to get faster. So I've committed to this measurement in the short term. You know, who knows, maybe maybe it changes after another year of experience. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe that's something for us to test one day. True. How fast is a canoe rig yeah, heavy versus rig because light? Because there's a trade-off. If you're constantly fighting for your balance, you're not going to be able to put a whole lot of power on that paddle, and that's going to slow you down. Whereas, maybe if I rig this a little bit differently, I feel more confident getting a stronger uh, catch, therefore fast. So it's a, it's all about how much drag we're creating with the AMA, and it's a trade-off. If I'm not very good with my balance, I'm going to have a hard time getting good power on each stroke if this is rigged too aggressively for my skill. And, and sometimes it can be, I think I've told you before, we, we've done some power testing with, uh, with racing bikes, with, with tri bikes and found that seat height difference of just a couple of millimeters can make a 10% difference in power output over a long term. Yeah, so it's it probably sense. similar here too, that just a couple of yeah. you know, small amount can make a, a big change. Yeah.